Hi, my name is Paula Tusiani Eng, and I am the executive director and one of the founders of Emotions Matter, Inc. I want to welcome you to the third annual Walk for Borderline Personality Disorder. In the past two years, we've held our walk for BPD at Hudson River Park in New York City, along the border of New York and New Jersey. We walked along the border of two states because we wanted to make a statement that borderline personality disorder should no longer be on the border of psychiatry. BPD treatment should be covered by insurance companies. BPD education should be included in clinical training programs. BPD attitudes should be based on facts, not assumptions. And finally, and most importantly, BPD diagnosis should inspire compassion for suffering and support for recovery. These are some of the reasons why we walk for BPD. Why are you walking today? In light of the global health pandemic, our walk has transformed into a virtual event. We now have participants participating from around the country and around the world. We welcome you today and we encourage you in the chat box and the comment box to greet each other with where you're from. Today, we're building a virtual community for BPD and that community starts now. Emotions Matter is a 501c3 nonprofit organization founded in 2015 by those with lived experience, family members, and professionals who are committed to support those with borderline personality disorder. Our vision is to create a world in which every individual impacted by BPD has access to resources and treatment to achieve a meaningful recovery. Today, we're fundraising at the virtual walk because the contributions from this event fund our programs which occur throughout the year. These include our online BPD support groups on Support Group Central, a closed Facebook group for those impacted by BPD, and our BPD Connections program. I'm happy to report that since last year's walk, over 300 individuals impacted by BPD participated in these programs. We know that sometimes just meeting one other person who's working on their recovery or who has achieved a level of recovery and has gotten better can make all the difference. One group member who attended one of our programs said, going to these meetings makes me feel more normal. I didn't feel so alone anymore. Listening to what people had to say made me realize that there's hope and that I can get better. Emotions matter saved me and helped me to become the me that I am today. Thank you. Will you make a donation today to help us continue this important work? Funds raised from the virtual walk for BPD also finance educational webinars, workshops, videos, and publications to promote BPD recovery. In 2019, the funds that we raised from this walk a year ago, we did the following things with those funds. We published a new resource that you can find on our website to support students with borderline personality disorder. It's a publication and a tool for educators, students, and family members to learn how to access disability services in school with a BPD diagnosis. In addition, we distributed $11,000 of the money raised last year to, to film and produce a video for healthcare professionals addressing the misperceptions, the stigma around borderline personality disorder. And that film is going to be released later in the year. We can't do this without your help. We are very proud of our accomplishments. We thank you, our members, our donors, our sponsors who've made this all possible. But now more than ever in this global health pandemic, our programs are in very high demand. This pandemic has made the need for our staffing increase and our technology needs have also increased with costs associated with those new needs. Our, we cannot do it without raising money, which is why we chose to take our walk from an in-person event to a virtual event. 
your gift can help us sustain these programs and initiatives into 2021. There are three ways that you can give today throughout this virtual walk. First is you can use the Donate Now button on our Facebook homepage of Emotions Matter, Inc. Second is you can go to our website, www.emotionsmatterbpd.org and make a donation. Or you can go to our walk website at the QGive portal. Finally, if you'd like, you can put a donation in the mail and mail it to our PO Box 7642, Garden City, New York 11530. We want to acknowledge in a special way our sponsors without whom this event would not be possible. We want to thank firstly our diamond sponsor, the Francesco and Mary Giambelli Foundation, our platinum sponsor, New York Presbyterian Hospital, our gold sponsor, McLean Hospital in Boston, and our nonprofit sponsor, the New England Personality Disorders Association, also in the Boston area. And we also thank our in-kind sponsor, Costco of Wharton, New Jersey. We wanna also acknowledge today our extraordinary team of volunteers and staff who had to shift gears in the last couple of weeks to take this from an in-person event to a virtual event. I want to acknowledge the work of Melissa Ferdinando, um, our Emotion, Emotions Matter Vice President for Events and also our events chair. Um, I want to acknowledge Rosa Navini, uh, one of our co-founders of Emotions Matter, but also for managing our communications and social media. Um, I want to acknowledge Beth Karcher, our office assistant and also bookkeeper. I want to acknowledge Rebecca Potash, who's our data entry volunteer, and Rivka Lubin, who has been our technology assistant during this time, and Roger Giussiani, who has helped with video editing. I also want to thank our speakers, who you'll hear from in a few moments, Jesse Shepard, Andy Chrisman, Kimberly Rolfs, and Dr. Frank Yeomans, who also, instead of coming and doing a live event, had to work to pre-record their speeches. Thank you so much. And I want to thank our board of directors, our peer leaders, our staff, and volunteers who have all contributed in extraordinary way ways in all of the virtual events that we've held during this BPD Awareness Month in May. In, in the face of quarantine and working from home, everybody has pitched in and done an amazing job. Thank you so much. It certainly takes a village. Um, did you know that Emotions Matter is run by over 50 volunteers who are different stakeholders in the BPD community? Some have lived experience of BPD and want to give back and help others and raise awareness. Others are professionals and family members who also care passionately about our mission. We come together on days like today because we believe in our vision to create a world in which every individual impacted by BPD has access to resources and treatment to achieve a meaningful recovery. If you're inspired by what you see and hear today, we hope that you will get involved and donate to support our work. Please feel free to reach out to us at Emotions Matter, either via email, our Get Involved page on our website, or by telephone. We welcome you to join our community and we wanna hear your perspective on your experiences of BPD and how we can make a difference. At this time, we will begin to post the pre-recorded videos from our walk speakers. Each speaker's video will be introduced in a separate Facebook feed over the next 20 to 30 minutes. I invite you to share pictures and comments in the comments boxes. Our volunteers will also start different Facebook threads that invite you to virtually connect and respond throughout the day. The first thread will share messages of hope and advocacy signs. The second thread encourages people to upload videos of why you're walking and where you're walking. And the third thread, you can upload any photographs or videos while you're actually walking to share with our community. Feel free to participate in this virtual experience in whichever way feels right to you. Meet those around you from around the country and world impacted by BPD. Feel less alone and more empowered to be part of the solution. Together by sharing our voices, we can take BPD from the border 
and move it to mainstream psychiatry. Thank you and enjoy the virtual walk for BPD. It is now my pleasure to introduce four speakers in a different, in different pre-recorded threads. Kimberly Rolfs, Dr. Frank Yeomans, Andy Chrisman, and Jesse Shepard, and Rivka Lubin. Please note that our speakers may share aspects of their journey, and some may find these upsetting, but our speakers speak the truth from their own personal experience with BPD. If you're concerned or upset by anything you hear, please consult your support system or a mental health professional. For more information about BPD or resources, consult our website at www.emotionsmatterbpd.org. After the walk today, I invite you to walk safely in whichever way feels right for you in your neighborhood using social distancing or masks in your community. Upload your pictures and send messages in our threads throughout the day. Because everyone is in different time zones, be sure to check Facebook later in the day or this evening and read through the content that's been posted. And don't forget to make your gift to Emotions Matter. We are about at the halfway point to reaching our fundraising goal of $50,000, and we hope to get to that finish line because of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the walk.